How would the lighting be better? You want to come over here? Hey, hey, I can see your face. <laughs> so this is one of the drawers, drawer cabinets for the master closet. Um, I've gone ahead and I went ahead and put the drawer slides in. I had to take them off and put them in three different times because I uh, messed up. And so now we're going to put, um, we're going to drill pocket holes in the front of the front and back of the drawers. And then we're going to put the drawers together, put the drawer slides on the outsides of the drawers, and then um, we'll start being able to test and see if something about the drawer needs to be modified. So on, um, on the drawers we did on the prior cabinet, which we've got here, um, the, some of the drawers needed to be uh, sanded down because they were just a tiny bit too wide. So we went ahead and we sanded those down and then we put the drawer slides back on everything. Nothing was pushing out. So that's what we're gonna do now. And let's get started. I'm gonna drill some pocket holes. <laughs> I know. I love it. Once you get it set up right, it just makes pocket holes a breeze. So we got all the pocket holes drilled. And so the pocket holes go on the front of the drawer front and the drawer back. So we've got a back, we've got a front, and then we've got two sides. So we're gonna, did we, the last time, did we, um, put the base, the drawer base in first, or did we get three sides together first? I think we put the drawer base in first. Okay. That's the front. I think for ease of use. I think we did like one. We'll put one together side one side, thing. one corner, then Maybe put the, it in. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So the drawer base is numbered. This one's number five, bottom drawer. So now it's just assembly time. And let's not forget the glue. Let's not forget the glue. Okay. Okay. Got the glue. So what do we want to put together first? I know, we still need glue. I just wanna see how it fits. Just like that. Yep. So let's get some glue in these two. Then you wanna do it, want me to do it? Do it. Just how much do you want in there? Just, um, Just a small that. bead. Yeah, like that. Good. 
doesn't need to go. Nice. In there. It doesn't need to go all the way to the edge, but because there's actually nothing in that corner. Yep. Yep. Do go ahead and glue all the yeah. Go ahead here? and get glue in the others too. Might as well. That way we don't forget. We finally got enough space to actually lay these out properly. that that's the side perfect this second one goes a down a little bit from the front yeah but Base. Hmm? Is there enough of the I think so. base yeah. in there? Oh, it's barely in there, honey. I know. take a little screwdriver right here mm -hmm. and just kind of shimmy it over. Okay. I think that's pretty much all we want to do. It doesn't need a ton. For the most part, this thing's going to be. I know, I just want it to be well supported. Yep. point it seems like the drawer bottoms are moving around we can always put nails up from the bottom yep Promise. <laughs> Last one. Oh no, that went in. Did 
needed it. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Sweet. So now, throw a couple of pocket screws in it. Yep. Can you hand me the uh, drill? Yep. Please. Yep. You should turn that so that the camera can see. I should. Because it's so cool. You don't need to do it for every single one, but uh, at least one of them. So if I use four on each drawer, uh -huh. can you count and see if there are four drawers worth, 16 more? And we're using, is it this out of this? Yep. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, this is like, this is like 50. Voila. 16 there, so. Okay, cool. Yay! It's so nice. No. Okay, so we're gonna get all these built before we put the slide on, or while we're working with the one, do you wanna just go ahead and get the slide put on it? Let's go ahead and put the slides on this one, then we'll show putting it in there, and then we'll do all the rest. Okay, yeah, because if we have to sand this one down, then I can be sanding on it while you're maybe working on the next one or something. Yeah. So, um, which side do you want to be the front? If you look in here, does it matter to you? Um, not really. <laughs> let's. This is a little bumped let's up. Let's put this in the back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put that in the back. So if that's the front. Then we've got a handy dandy little drawer jig. Oh, this is going to be perfect. So on our first cabinet, when we put the bottom in, the bottom actually stuck out a little below the bottom of the, the edges. And that was before we got our planer. And so these have all been planed, so they're a bit skinnier and now they don't stick out under the bottom. So they're not going to contact that, like uh, contact the base of the cabinet and cause the drawer slides to stick. So. Yay. So anyway, I built this jig and I have it marked so that all I have to do is set it on there and I've got little marks at each spot where on the drawer slide, while Casey pulls one off, um, yeah, I see the hole, huh? <laughs> then that's where the holes, the screws go. So we just, Mark here. And voila, I have marks for where I'm gonna put all my screws. Does it matter which side goes on which? Um, it doesn't, they're identical, but um, let's just grab this one.
This is gonna be the hard so part before is. So we did this on the floor. Yeah. Go ahead and set it down on the floor. No, let's, let's show them. Uh -huh. So there's my marks and I just line up the hole front and back. And I think I marked the wrong, I marked the wrong holes. I marked for the left hand side. So this is for the other side. Wait, how did I do that? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, so I made this jig so that I could use it either on the left side or the right side and my marks would match up, but I couldn't remember which one was which. So when I did it originally, I had matched this edge up against the front, which is wrong because this is for the left side of the drawer and we're right now looking at the right side of the drawer. So on the bottom piece, I made it so that the when, the, when you're working on the right side of the drawer, the bottom piece here has to be flush with the front and then the marks line up properly. What did I do with the pencil? <laughs> there it is. Oh, I can't keep anything. Okay. So I make my mark. I line it up flush and then I need to make my marks. Now, when we put this on, it should line up perfectly. Yep. Good. Yay. And voila, drawer slide. So now I flip this around. And we just got to remember now this is the back <laughs> and so not put the drawer right slide on. on. <laughs> we can, but not put the drawer slide on backwards. Where's... Okay. Um, let's do this. So now we use the, this is marked left side. You guys probably can't see because of all the crap I got in the way but line that up flush with the front and my marks should line up. It's, it was already broken. Oh, I thought you just now <laughs> broke it. I was like, oh. Which side was the front? That side. Yep, because you broke back on this Yep. Finger. So, put that on there. And there's our first hole lined up, second hole's lined up, and third hole's lined up perfectly. Okay.
Voila. All right. Should I put it in and see if it yeah. goes in? All right. Is this the front? Yep. Oof, this is gonna be tight, honey. I can't even get it in there. Pinching? I don't know. So I was having a little bit of problem earlier. So if you do this, it's nice and and smooth. Something's going on. So let's pull this out. Okay, let's just spin. that down. So, um, oh crap. Hmm? So we have to have one of these in order for this to work, but so try this one and then try this one. See if you get the same feeling on that bottom one. This one's just stiffer. Yeah. So now try this one and that one. Do the bottom one. That one is not as stiff as this one. This one's a little bit easier. This one so is, maybe it's just a each individual one. Maybe they just have to work for a while. Okay. So. Well, let's pull this out. That can be our next one. I mean, there's no reason to put it back in if we're gonna put it on the next drawer, but we'll stick that drawer in here. But we need to pull this one off too. Where, oh where, can we set stuff down? We both. <laughs> didn't do that so I'm wondering if it's getting pinched like the other one it could be most of our tolerances were a little too big so yeah so let's take take off the slides and uh, I'll do some sanding rails are actually tilted up when you compare the front of the drawer to the back of the drawer. So I need to, the, the drawers have all sorts of holes on them, or sorry, the rails have all sorts of holes on them to be able to um, adjust them. My initial holes were in non-adjustable places. So what I'm going to do is eyeball this thing 
and then get Casey over here to eyeball it and see if we both agree that that is now level with the drawer. Who could also put a level on it? No. That. We could measure from the bottom of the drawer up, but we can't put a level on it. That looks level. It almost looks a little low. That's why I keep looking at it, because it almost looks like it needs to go. Up what needs to go up? This end needs to go up a titch. So don't look here. Ignore that, because the slant will throw you off. And if you're really... Okay, there we go. This should be level. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, but you can see how my holes are off, how yeah. much my holes were off. So instead of going into the same holes, I'm using one of the other adjustable holes that are provided on the rail. And honestly, from here on out, we could just use the adjustable holes. And then that way, if it's off, if any of them are off, we can just loosen it, tweak it, tighten it back down. And we're not drilling new holes. We could. That would probably be easy. All right, so now let's try this drawer again. So the drawer side has been sanded, so that should relieve any pinch if it okay. was pinching at all. And then making the slides level should um, fix it further. Okay. Now, the first time it goes in is always hard. Drawer sides need to be level. Drawer sides need to be level. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I wonder if that was what was happening with some of the other ones, but we didn't. We may not have noticed. Or maybe when we took them off, sanded it down, and put them back on, we put them back on level without realizing that they weren't level. That could be. So we need to maybe your, make sure your jig is level. Is so the, the jig should the be jig? level. Okay. It's it's how I was, I was doing this at an odd angle. Right. So when I was, so I know exactly where vertically mm -hmm. this line or where the vertical line should be, but the horizontal line, if I tilt my pencil up this way, then I get a totally different than if I right. tilt it down. So I need to try to go as flat as possible. It would be and, easier to do that with it on the floor. Well, and I had a thought about that. If I take... have a different pencil around here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but if I take one of the carpenter pencils, yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. And actually get it on here. I could, I need to, I need to shape this so that it's point, it's marking in the right place. But if I put it on flat and just run it all the way across, I'll get the same line. Right. right? You don't think you, that you would be able to do that with the other pencil? The other pencil I was using is round. So there's oh, no I'll, way to determine well, how there's a little, how no, flat I am. Okay. Let's say if you get up higher, it's hex. Yeah, so. it's, it's, if yeah. I stick it through the well, drawer. I was, thought maybe it wasn't quite so <laughs> long. But, well, what about, is this one? No, so that doesn't mark anywhere near where I need it to mark. Okay. So right. I, you gotta like shave it way down. So I may just do this and mark it like that. Okay. But as long as I've got it flat on one edge, which I'm gonna use the grinder to make, or the sander to make that happen, mm -hmm. then I'll get the same mark every time. Okay. BB Alchemy. Come here. Oh, this is doggy. There's a doggy. Yeah, there she is. Oh, goodness. Yeah. She, we uh, fertilized all of our trees with 
um, horse manure, and she went and got herself a piece of horse manure, and she was not very happy with me that I took it from her, but it would have made her really sick. Yes, it would have. It would have made her sick, and we don't want her to be sick. No, no.